I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you because these assessments are usually designed to be something as a should you get it, should you not. And just a brief thought on exactly what I think about this game, right? Thing is, I'm not actually going to recommend The Witcher 2 to you. But I'm also not going to recommend that you don't get it. It's kind of a mixed bag, and I'm going to try and explain why really briefly here. First of all, there are two major elements that are going to determine whether or not you like this game when you actually play it. Number one, the gameplay. Now, the gameplay, if you turn down the difficulty, basically involves the majority of your actions are going to be revolving around bombs or swordplay. If you feel like doing the other things, that's completely optional, which is great. And if you turn up the difficulty, then you basically have to do everything, but combat becomes extremely tactical, especially without a pause button, or at least I never found one, so I could, you know... I, I know you can hit control, but that's not what I mean. It's not like Dragon Age or uh, The Witcher 1 or other similar games where you could pause and think about your actions. So you really have to, to, to plan and be prepped and otherwise know what you're doing with regards to traps, with using your signs properly, with uh, using your bombs or throwing knives, and of course, knowing how to dodge and roll. If I were to describe it, it's a weird combination of Assassin's Creed, Dark Souls, and just a little bit of God of War in there, too. Uh, especially with the QTEs that happen here or there. Not too many of them. N none of them were actually bad. In fact, none of them were very uh, punishing or unforgiving, so that's a good thing. Here's the problem. While all of that sounds good on paper, the reality of it is, as you're going through the game, especially on a harder difficulty, after a while, some battles can, especially given how many battles you have to go through this game, just get a little tedious. Because you have to set up, and you have to be prepped, you have to constantly do the dodge thing, the dodge thing, and you have to have the parry talent, and you have to know how to block and counterattack and all that stuff. And I'm not wanting to sound like I'm, I, it was too hard, because that's not the point. It was engaging, it was properly difficult. It just got tedious after a while, having to do this whole runaround for even trash fights. Then there's the problem with easy difficulty. Oh, okay, just crank it down. Well, that becomes the opposite thing. Instead of tedious, now it's just plain boring. <sighs> this is pretty much easy difficulty right here. At like 90% of the fights, you could just do mashing the button, and you'll just combo, uh, chain combo everything you're fighting to, to death. There's no, there's no intricacy, no interest. So, it's one of those games that, honestly, I feel, if you're really into the combat, you're going to like it, it w regardless of difficulty. But it is worth noting that if you're like me, you might get to the point where the combat becomes an obstacle to you actually joining the game. I'll talk about this more when I get to the rumination. Second point. The story. I'm... It's, it's hard to know where to start with this, but the, the Witcher 2 is completely unashamed of its subject matter, and that's going to determine whether or not you're going to enjoy it. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, oh, well, why would I have anything against, you know, some Polish author's works, right? That's not actually what I mean when it comes to subject matter. The Witcher 2 is certainly based off his works, that's not what I'm going for. The subject matter of The Witcher 2 is humanity. And there's some good there, there's a lot of neutral, and there's a lot of bad. And like I said, it's completely unashamed of it. It does not flinch, it does not hesitate to fling you right into it and show you just how coarse and brutal and unpleasant and dark you get the picture that humanity can be. And that may or may not affect your overall enjoyment of the game. If you're the kind of person, like myself, admittedly, I've said this many times in the past, who does not like that sort of thing in my fiction, in my entertainment, then, you're, then your overall enjoyment of the overall plot, setting, story, characterization, etc., is going to be lessened by that. But if you're the kind of person who gets into that, then you're going to love it. Or if you're the person who really wants to enjoy the plot anyways, you might enjoy it anyways. So that's why I say I can't really recommend the game, but at the same time, I can't really not recommend it. Take one thing away from this assessment, though. There is no doubt in my mind that The Witcher 2 is an amazingly crafted game. It is literally a work of art. I'll be talking about this more on the rumination, but suffice it to say that I was very impressed playing through this game. It's available right now on Good Old Games and Steam for about $20. And honestly, if you walked to me and said, you know, well, how much would you be willing to pay, you know, what to pay uh, for Witcher 2, I'd say $20 is a pretty damn good price, especially for the amount of content you get. Whatever you do, though, make sure you do get the uh, enhanced edition or extended edition or whatever they call it to make sure you get the additional content, the additional features, the CGI cutscenes, and, of course, 
a few bug polishes and otherwise smoothing it out of the property. So that's that. Hope to see you in the rumination next time.